And, you know, we've got another match already for you guys. They're just, um, you know, making sure everything's ready up on stage for you guys. We see them already here. You know, got their characters ready. We'll just be jumping in straight into that match. So we're going to have Burnout Fighter up against Ed in this next match. So, you know, really good match for us to see here. Really, really rough matchup, though, for Burnout Fighter. You know, this is one of the hardest matchups for Dalsim in the game right now. Rashid, you know, number one probably in the game as well. Doesn't, you know, doesn't hurt. But then the matchup alone is like a 7-3. So, so, so just known for going ham. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So If a man knows about going ham, it's you, Baxter. You, I'm sure you can call this out here. That's that, it. That's ham. So here we go. We're going to see if Burnout can contain that halal ham right now from Ed. Or if Ed can make his way in with those spinning mixes. Look at it. He just can go nuts in this matchup. This is the problem. Poor Burnout fighter. He doesn't even have a sub either. Although he was playing Zeku earlier, so he might be able to switch to Zeku, maybe bring him out, but I doubt we'll be able to see it. Wall grabbing his way, trying to get out of the corner there, but still not quite making the space needs, taking the pressure from Delsim. Nice, and so we're back to that mid-screen game. This is exactly where Burnout wants to maintain the game is this mid-screen range. He does not want to be near the corner because one back throw. Anything pretty much will put him back into that corner, so he does not want to be there. Right here is not where he wants to be. Oh, he's okay with being on the other side of the corner, though. Uh-oh, here we go. Ed's pressure. Beautiful nice. shimmy. Great spacing on that normal there. It's the type of corner pressure you want to see. Works out perfectly. And that mix-up is dirty. He does the jump forward. You're thinking that's going to cross up. Eagle spike, same side. Dirty stuff there from Ed's Rashid. Give him the New Zealand special at the end there. Oh, nice. Oh, go it. for another shimmy attempt. Rashid just, can just make up space so easily like that. Yeah, it's so easy for Rashid to get in within Season 2.5. You receive some much needed buffs. All right, and here we go. We're starting to see Burnout block for his life. Literally another shimmy. Yes, please. Ed's loving it. Using meter to keep Dalsim in the corner. Doesn't matter how your meter's going. We're using it at this momentum, at this pace. We're oh. just taking enough damage. Double throw attempt there from Burnout. Luckily gets away with it. Another V-reversal. Unfortunate for him. He needs to get this round. A huge life lead for Ed here, though. A round up and that much of a life lead with the health bars. He's kind of, kind of just go all out here. Blowing his meter, just doing what feels good. Yeah, it's so hard for Burnout right now to make this comeback. Burn up. Dalsim not doesn't have much, if any, comeback potential for himself. He, he so. held out for a fair while there. He kept that round going. He was blocking a lot, looking for opportunities. So we'll see, you know, Ed obviously taking that first game there. Well well done to him, but yeah, Burnout really needed to do something for himself right now. Very difficult matchup for himself. He needs to try and figure some stuff out. Maybe he just needs to commit to a bit more normals. Maybe match the ham levels, you know? That's maybe what, maybe you're gonna match ham with ham. Who knows, Burnout, he doesn't know. He's gonna look in that Red Bull can. Do I find any answers? Don't know. He knows how to power up. So there Sipping we go. that Red Bull, getting ready. Oh, looking intense. Oh. All right, what are we thinking? What have we got? We need to come up with a battle plan here. Burnout Fighter, one of our more well-known competitors in the Australian FDC, known for being a bit of a world warrior, getting out there, oh. competing. And here we go, Akuma. Wow. One of those, you know, one of the can characters. He's definitely one of the top-tier characters in this season right now. He's, um, you know, thought to be one of the best characters, if not the best as well. He's I got just... pretty much every tool you want in a character. He's got DPs, he's got fireballs, he's got a teleport, he's got mix-ups, he's got damage. The only thing he doesn't have is life. But that's what he's always been like. He's always been a low-life, high-damage output character with a lot of mix-ups. So let's see if this, you know, character switch works out for Burnout. It's the classic glass cannon. I just love the look of Akuma in this game. The lion's mane he's kind of got going on. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, a really cool redesign option from... Uh, Capcom there. Some pretty bold opening moves in this round. The uh, fireball, the jump in, one works a bit better than the other. But I don't no know if that was a read or a reaction there, just a fortune. Uh oh, uh oh, this is not an Akuma player. This is a Dalsim player. He's finally got a DP and he whips it out. Ten seconds into the round, some pretty frantic stuff already coming out in this set. It's a very different matchup to what we were seeing before. Nice hands here, there from Ed with that heavy spinning mixer. Wow, still manages to catch in there on the tail end. They got all beautiful neutral jumps. Beautiful throw tech bait with that neutral jump fist. It hits so deep into his jump in that he can do it so early. And it has so much hit stun that he can still combo when he lands. Such a great tool you know, for he's got the hot dog. Oh, there goes the hot dog. I wanted to see that hot dog last for a while there. Man, if he could give me that hot dog, I'm starving Marvin right now. But that's okay. Get back into the match, Baxter. All right, here we go. Beautiful jump in. Nice confirm there from Burnout. 
He's not used to doing combos. Darcy doesn't have combos. What is this? seeing the aggression coming out now. We've got this uh, much better suited character for it on Burnout. Yeah, definitely. But, you know, one of the things is, is that Rashid actually has damage in Season 2.5, so he's doing quite a bit of damage right now to Akuma. Yeah, Fireball, unfortunately. Not finding a target there and leaving himself open to trying to get reset on the ground. That crouch medium kick, such a good button from Akuma. There you go. It's plus one on a hit. And, oh, sorry, it's plus one hit enough that you can connect a stand jab after it's close it's enough. Some good spacing coming out from Burnout here. He's picking and finding the right ranges to just stay out of those moves from Rashi to still punish them. And all oh, beautiful trade there. Lucky stuff there for Burnout. Activates that feature. No DP nice. on that uh, EX Eagle Spray. Yeah. Beautiful overhead to take Very it. clean, yeah. Ed taking that position, almost that V-trigger activation for Burnout. Maybe giving Ed a slight advantage to read the situation. Go, yeah, okay, I need to come in here with this. Yeah, straight really. from the air, straight down, does the damage. And Burnout looking for the Red Bull answers once again. Red Bull gods give him power right now. He's on his last legs, down 2-0, but we saw this earlier. You know, we've seen people go down 2-0, Ed did it himself. He went down 2-0, came back 3 straight. So can we see Burnout do it himself? That He's going back to Tarek yeah, I was off on my break, I didn't really go far on my break. I was just right there in the audience yep. watching the last match. I couldn't go anywhere, I was like, wow. Yeah, definitely. So let's see if Burnout can find any answers. He might be switching back to Dalsim again. We do have Zeku on that screen. He was playing Zeku earlier in the pool play. Yes, definitely. I don't know. Do we have Zeku? Zeku allowed in this tournament? He's only been out for a few days. Well, see, if it was a CPT event, he'd be banned. But we're throwing down esports, baby. We got no rules. We're throwing the rules out the window. We're throwing okay? it down. You can go ham with Zeku, Zeku right now. On but Australia stage, that's how we do it down under. That's but, uh, right. We're going back to the classic. Going back to what we know. With Burnout, He's going back to his Rogan, Josh Boy, Dal Sim, Burnout Fighter. Needs to find an answer yeah, with the this character. in the cage in the octagon. But they don't pop off too hard in there. Yeah, we don't want no Conor McGregor's right now. I was scared before when Brew lost this match. I thought someone was going to lose their head. But luckily for us, we're all fighting game nerds. We're all here playing what we love. Street Fighter V. Good teleport to get another one. Though. Straight away. Back in there. Yeah, Bernard very quickly finding himself in the corner. Yet again here. And beautiful teleport read. Oh, the Rashid pressure coming out. A little bit of a shimmy, a little bit of spacing. Yeah, I really like what Burnout's actually doing. He's playing a bit more aggressive right now. You know, like I was saying before, he's trying to match the hand levels that Rashid outputs. So, pretty smart, pretty well, he smart He needs options. to do something different, and this does seem to be erring a little better, but he's still, you know, he's in the life deficit here on the first round. Yeah, definitely, but this will be a good start for him. Building up that grey life. That EX Fireball, he gets the mix-ups. No, unfortunate for him getting thrown backwards towards the corner. Unfortunately, the flame carpet not getting a lot of work done there with Rashid just having enough room to kind of just walk away. Here we go, we see it confirm. Mix up opportunity. Here we go, pressure. Oh, beautiful bait, Ooh. but no crush counter. He could have got it there with Stan. Here we kick. Oh, and the, no. the, the limbs going limb straight into the wind. Tried, tried to punch the tornado. Didn't work out. Don't punch tornado, kids. You've learned it here first from Dal Sim. Dal Sim's tips and tricks. What's Good, doing? Teleport. Don't do against the tornado. Oh, beautiful air to air there from Dal Sim. Oh, beautiful teleport timing right there from Burnout. Picking and choosing those teleport spots a little better now. That's great to see. Good V reverse. It's just so oh, difficult. Wow. Beautiful call out there from Ed. Ed has done an exceptional job of reading these, these full screen teleports or just the, the teleports in the neutral. Yeah, I mean, you know, Dalsim doesn't really have much to mix you up with. He's only really got those teleports, so it is pretty tele telegraphed when he does go for it, but Ed's just been calling him out every time beautifully, so You've really, really good stuff. You can kind of find the key spots where you feel like a Dalsim's going to teleport. We've been seeing that a bit today. Definitely, definitely. But here we go, Rashid's got that tornado. And yeah, punish. Pushing him back, that's not it yet. Oh, beautiful back throw. Dalsim's got everything in the game. We have the momentum we need. It's plus. Flame cover's coming out, D-trigger. Nice. Away. EX Fireball, Good EX teleport. Eagle Spike, he's out of bar, full screen, punish, nice. Living on a prayer right now, it's Burnout Fighter, there's the spinning it's mix up. And oh the my god, he did punish. it, wow, amazing. Wow. That's just exceptional play from Burnout there, to see a comeback like that, coming out of a character like Dal Sim. Final the composition round. you need, while down on health, while on the wire. Wow. Yeah, not, not every day you get to see Dal Sim make a comeback like that. Usually it's the opposite way around, usually he's le leading the game, and then all of a sudden one... You know, one wrong guess and he loses his whole life bar, but good stuff to Burnout, make it a comeback. Now, has it cracked Ed? Is this Burnout's verge to success right now in this series? Has he woke up? I don't know, he's had a lot of Red Bull today. I think that's his, like, 16th can. I think he's woke up. I think he's had enough Red Bull, and now we're in the zone. It's all happening now.
Everything's working for this man. That's the most dominating we've oh, seen Blue so far in this set. No, no the slide works, the it. combo no. is almost dead, just needs a tiny bit more damage. And where's oh. the Yoga Sniper? Where is it? Where's the Yoga Sniper? Here where's comes the tornado? The tornado. Oh, oh, the slide wow. to take it! Chooses to slide in towards the tornado. No fear. Alright, kids, so. Step two of Dallas Sims Tornado Tips and Tricks, slide into it. Oh, he looks like he just lost a round though. He's <laughs> got Bernard's getting all the momentum. Uh -oh. Come on, you've got it going now. This is where you want to stay pumped, stay focused. Uh -oh. But you did, it just worked. Burnout, I feel empowering up from here. He's taking a swig of that Red Bull every single t chance he gets. And now we're seeing a little bit of concern coming out on there. He was probably feeling, sitting pretty comfortably most of the time. They're going, yeah, it's all going in my favor. His character switching back and forth. You know your opponent's kind of feeling the pressure. When they've got a character switch twice in a set. But, yeah, as you mentioned, we just saw a 6-0 run back before. Are we going to see another And look at that crowd. Thank you guys for tuning in right here. In a beautiful set that we've got between Burnout Fighters, Dalsim and Ed's Rashid right now. Let's see if Ed can adapt and, you know, seal out the series right now, 3-1. Or if we can see Good Burnout. punish on the sweep. Ooh, no tech on that throw. Unfortunate for Burnout. He's found himself in the corner. Only getting a trade from the NEF. Ooh, too high on that drill. Those drills are native frames unless you land them very, very close to the ground. Okay, it's facing. Jumps back, gives Dal Sims a little bit of room, pressing buttons, just so he can go straight back in and yeah, get in his face. See, that's one of those Rashid rounds where what is Dal going to do? You know, there's just so much pressure. He can only view reversal for so long. And getting his soul crushed by the Bison statue on the side of the stage. Yeah, that's such a sick effect. Alright, here we go. Beautiful punish there. That is next six. Oh, big swing, but Ooh, no conversion. No conversion Lucky break to burn out. That was yeah, a huge opportunity left on the table there. Okay, here we go. We're right. going to see Burnout. We've got Reshi. We rarely see him, and that's locked down into fire into Super. Damage City. Nice throw tech. Steve makes makes safe. it safe. Plus frame from this. Nice throw tech. It's so scary right now. One touch. He's got the, one touch. He's got the CA on deck as well. It's going to be so much damage. He's got so much. You know, so much pressure right now. Yoga Sniper could take it. Nobody whips it, but no punish. lead does not matter at this point when Rashid's sitting at that much meter. Nice, and the slide takes it. It's so Beautiful. hard, see? That's the only time Dalton's actually a good character in this game, is when you have a pixel, because he has half-screen 50-50s. Is it going to be that slide as a low attack, or is it going to be that Yoga Sniper, the instant jump light punch as the overhead? A slide's definitely been working out for Burnout Fighter in this set. Go burnout fighting for his life literally in the corner. Yeah, he's just so often finding himself pushed into a corner by this Rashid pressure. Good, nice. checking him out of the air. Here we go. Rashid fires that tornado. He's got tornado. NCA on deck. Just gives Rashid that space. He needs Whoa, to move that was forward. a weird interaction. Capcom. Nice. Whoa, running into fire. Good what amount of damage there Rashid? for Flamecarpet. That was almost there. Full great damage there. And oh, another Burn slide. And now we're 2-2. Two, two. We're 2-2. Two, two. Ladies and gentlemen. We've got some real matches here. Oh my god. Can I get some hype from the crowd, please, for Burnout Fighter making this comeback right now? It's 2-2. Two to two Give it up, guys. Set. Now keep in mind that this is actually a really, really hard matchup for Burnout as well. This is close to being a 7-3 matchup. Now what I mean by that is most of the options that Dalsim wants to use in his normal gameplay, you know, Rashid counters. And the way that Rashid normally wants to play his game is perfect to eliminate Dalsim. So it's really hard for Burnout to actually play this type of match. But he's doing so well in making this comeback happen. That's right, 7-3, about as bad as the matchup gets in Street Fighter. That's so right. to see this kind of work coming out from Burnout. Keep it even to 2-2 is just an amazing effort. All right, here we go, but it's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. It is a best of five series. We're in game number five right now. Oh, that crouch heavy punch. Oh, so three in a row. So menacing. Do it again. Vera no, no, not leaving himself really open here, not giving uh, Ed a lot of chance. Find the mix up. Nice throw tech. Go on, get the... Here we go. Oh, so, close. so close to stun. Anything. And the... Teleport in the short. Is it happening? Is it, is it happening? happening? It's happening. Burnout oh, Fighter, can you make this comeback? Beautiful no side. Keep, keep, them, keep the players in their state here. Nah, I'm cursing everyone. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm just a commentator. It ain't my prize pool that I'm playing for. You know, I'm cursing players. Right, right, he's got go. a lot of meter, though. He's spending it quick. So you got a resource. I like full that punish. Oh. When you start a round with a full meter, you may as well use a little bit of EX. Exactly right. Because the rest of the round, all this time, you're potentially building meter. You're not actually building. Yeah, a lot of players, you'll see them if they do have full CA on deck, they'll commit to a super early on in the round, just to build more meter throughout that round itself. 
Personally, I like blowing a bug because it means I'm not going to accidentally waste my super because I'm mashing like an egg. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ichiga comes out. He's standing in the flames oh, no, and the fire. Fail. Nice teleport to Scout Plus. No. Oh, that's going to be damage city. Yeah, but if you look at the gray damage, Ed's taken like about half as much damage in that combo just the amount of time no, he's standing in the beach. That's not punishable. Plane. What are you thinking? That's why he's top one. Oh, it's their medium kick. No, so that slide was a bit unsafe, but it's okay. Here we Ed. go. Burn out to the corner. Beautiful throw. And Final Ed. round. Final round, two, ladies two, and gentlemen, one, one. right Can now. Can you believe we've come this far in this set? God, this feels like a tournament in and itself. Crowd, I cannot hear you behind this. Behind this plus, can you please make some hype for these players right now? Burnout Fighter and Ed, final round of this series! We've got the two massive call ball, that check out of the air, gets out of the corner. Amazing moves there to keep, keep Burnout in place. Wow, the Eagle Spike, so much damage, he's already down 50% of his life. Here we go, Ed, mounting that pressure right now. Beautiful set many punches. Down. Ed is going halal ham right now. Uh-oh, teleport mix up, nicely blocked. Got Trash counter. counter, but nothing from it. Nice, he gets the slide into that V-Trigger right now. That gray life, it's starting to mount up. He's got the tornado. Watch out, kids. Ed sees the end in sight and he wants it. He's working hard for it. He's mix pulling out all the stops. Here we but go, burnout. burnout Fighters about to hit. He found another mix up. No, turns. too far. Buff this character, Capcom, please. Uh oh, oh my God. the tornado. Just give me a I'm not sure what to do. Can the we X. finish this? Oh, we missed. The X spinner, watch out. One eagle. Oh, extra damage. One more hit. So close. Both players, we're down to slivers of life. One throw, one hit, what could it be? Right now, fire, send me a chicks. punch. No, wants one to get more. In. All he needs is a button, but he just can't get in. Eagle Spike, no punish, and, and the gets throw. In wow. Oh my god, there was a punish on that EX Eagle Spike. That was the range where you can punish it. But Ed, praying to the gods, the gods of Red Bull have graced him with this victory right now. Living on a prayer. Wow, what a, what a set, ladies and gentlemen. Can I please hear it from the crowd? Give it up for Burnout Fighter and Ed in that match. That yeah, was definitely sick. give it up for both players. Both of them just pulling out exceptional play there, pulling out all the stops, everything they've got. Oh, it, it sucks to, to bring such a comeback and not quite make it there, Burnout. I know. Guy played well. But both players bringing play. out everything. Beautiful, That's the type beautiful of play. play. That's what you want when you're up here at the high stakes. You don't want to choke. You don't want to drop things. You just want good, solid play. Go home, watch that VOD. Yeah, there'll be a lot to learn that's from it. that. And that's, what our, that's what us FGC are all about. Those hype sets, you know, that's what we want. We want those Sliver of Life's games. We want those best of five sets to go to game five, final round like that. But, you know, we're almost, I'm almost having a heart attack. I feel my heart through my chest right now. Guys, we're going to take a short little break and we'll get right back in the action for you guys just after this. So stick around.